you can help each other. I mean, you must to help each other. We've designed this camp to best fit the needs of a very diverse group. This group was diverse not only uh, from the point of view that uh, we are from four different countries, but uh, uh, luckily we managed to uh, involve and engage quite a few uh, young people with uh, certain disadvantages. And uh, it was wonderful to see how the activities that the trainers prepared uh, helped them to discover the leadership skills in themselves. I think it was brilliant. In a nutshell, um, it, was, it was really good watching all the young people interacting with each other, learning from each different culture. Even I was learning, you know. Um, I thought it was amazing. Um, the young people are going to take so much away from this. I think this is a great project and it needs to continue because you can see the benefit. You turn around and look on the wall, you see everything that's been drawn out of this. We've been uh, wonderful international teams cooperating and this was a challenge for the whole uh, project team to uh, design activities where uh, the language uh, barriers would not uh, uh, stop or would not prevent the activity to be successful and the kids to, uh, to attain um, a common uh, goal. Today we will explore a little bit more how we can use social media uh, in order to create our personal brand. Personal brand, there is a funny definition. It's what people say about you when you're not in the room. You have to be quiet, talk slowly, be quite confident. Obviously people don't speak the language, so there's a big confidence boost. I, I enjoyed it, it was fun. The communication skills is key and also to build up my confidence and to use the confidence to lead when I'm in England a lot more better. seven hours or four hours on social media when we are working, when we are actually have a career in this field, when we are trying our best to build some communities or to promote our products that we have or to have a career in this field. The most surprising thing uh, I noticed I think is that uh, everyone was willing to communicate even though most people didn't speak English that well. Most people spoke like broken English. They, they really tried to communicate with you and with everyone in the team. I'm 
very happy and uh, um, I, I will take uh, to Italy this experience and uh, also the, um, uh, I will try to make another experience also because uh, we improve our time bu team building, uh, time management, uh, uh, adaptability and so on. You have to design a product using waste materials here. You have to prepare a presentation, a short presentation, like two, three minutes for your product. Inspirational when you see uh, the journeys that many of the children have been on individually, um, that the challenges they've risen to. I've seen from our group every mm -hmm. every each young person at different times have gone and done things I didn't really expect them to be doing before the trip. Mm -hmm. Probably the most uh, powerful thing is seeing uh, them working together and overcoming uh, overcoming the hurdles of language and difference and being able to produce work together. And we were talking with them yesterday, and it was it was something that. Maybe they didn't first occur to them that that's one of the things they got out of the trip, but actually when they saw it, that was uh, one of the most powerful lessons they're going to be taking away, is that, yeah, that they yeah. can, uh, that, that hurdles can be overcome, but also that, that they can work really effectively with uh, cross cultures and languages, and they yeah. don't see, have to see that as a, as a, as a wall, but it's yeah. a bridge that they, can, they yeah. can cross and work together better. So it's, a, it's an important lesson, an important thing for them to be taking home with them. Yeah, and I can see some friends from, for life as well. They're making good friendships, so that's brilliant. Today we're going to be using your creativity and your planning and your leadership skills to make something different and we're going to, in our different groups, make a video. It's going into an employer's organisation and taking over their job for just one day or even two or three hours just to find out what it's like to be a leader or a manager in an organisation. I enjoyed this experience very much because I met a lot of people from different countries and I learned how to communicate with them even though they don't know much English. of the different ways that a leader works. They use their head. What qualities do you use your head for? And they also have to use your heart. Actually, it was my first time leading because I, in this experience, uh, I got really uh, comfortable with myself and with my English in particular. So I said, why don't I don't challenge myself? Why not? So it was a challenge for me to lead a lot of people that, doesn't, that don't speak my same language. So it was a challenge and uh, I really liked the, the results. Action. I can use uh, team, team building skills, I learned, and also communication skills.
we are really happy with, with all this technology and also the hands-on uh, things, the environmental project, the treasure hunt, uh, the trust building outdoor activities despite of the bad weather. Um, I think all of these activities reached the main goal. Uh, we helped these kids um, cooperate, collaborate wonderfully, uh, build uh, wonderful teams and uh, develop skills that I am quite sure, I'm totally sure, they can use in their later life, um, in their working environments or um, in the schools where they study. I would summarize it as an amazing experience. In fact, we have this possibility to take part in takeover days and I would suggest to everyone to take part in this project because it is so useful. Also because you can learn new languages or face with difficulties and try to improve your language, your skills. Amazing, I've met so many new people so many different cultures, seen so many different things. Yeah, I've had a really, really good time. This was an amazing, amazing trip. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was very good because I get many experiences and uh, I met many uh, people in some other countries. I'm very grateful for this camp. I didn't expect it to be so good. Having fun while learning to communicate with people from other countries and cultures.